Hey guys, Spencer Kaufman here with the Internet Hustler YouTube channel. Today we are talking about places to sell your stuff. Welcome to the Internet Hustler YouTube channel. My name is Spencer Kaufman. Today we are talking about the best places for you to sell your stuff. So where can you sell the stuff that you don't want? Why, why are you selling it? That's the first question. Perhaps you are going out and buying things with the intention of selling them. So you're a, a, a sourcing specialist, you're a reseller, you're flipping stuff. If that's the case, check out this video on buying and selling. You're going to like that one. It will help you out. So where can you sell all this? Now, maybe you just want to get rid of your own junk. You say, I have a bunch of stuff that I've collected over the years. I'm downsizing, but I don't want to give it away. I want some money for it and I want to know what it's worth. All right, number one, the best place to sell your stuff is going to be eBay. There are so many people on there. They look for these things, whether you do an auction or a buy it now is up to you. You can check out this video about selling on eBay uh, with some great tips that will help you out that you really need to follow because if you don't follow them, it's going to end up costing you more than it's worth. So eBay is a good spot. Of course, you got fees, you got shipping. Shipping rates are very high. So you need to know what you're doing when it comes to shipping. Check out this video on Pirate Ship. They negotiate shipping rates and get you some excellent deals. If you're shipping anything, you gotta be using Pirate Ship. Now, where else can you sell stuff? Well, if you can do it, uh, and I don't mean like if you can because it's hard. I mean if you can because people just don't want to buy things. Facebook Marketplace is probably my number two option. Uh, you can get cash, so there's no taxes or no fees. That's excellent, at least at this point in time. Of course, if you do Facebook shipping options, they allow you to ship, and then they do charge fees for that. Uh, and, and that's something you can do to reach a broader audience. But Facebook Marketplace is a really good one. Take a couple pictures, type out a description. It's very simple. Post it to different groups, put it on Marketplace. It's just, it's tedious, it's time consuming. A lot of scammers are on there saying, you know, send me your phone number, give me your email address, uh, send me this. You know, don't do any of that. Don't send them any of that. Don't, nothing like that. I'll do another video on selling on Marketplace because I think that'll be very beneficial for you guys. But, but check that out, it'll be in a card up there. Um, beyond Marketplace, you can get on local places like Nextdoor. That's a great neighborhood app, a local app and you can post things for sale on Nextdoor, so that's a good one. And then there are other options like <clears throat> OfferUp or LetGo, which they've now merged, so they're the same, but OfferUp and LetGo, uh, you can get on there. Again, a lot of scammers on there, so be careful. Craigslist, you can sell your stuff on Craigslist. They, they now charge you to do that, so that kind of has moved down on my list, but I used to like it a lot. Uh, another one is Mercari, or Mercari, uh, those that's a good app that you can do to sell stuff but again that one's kind of rising in popularity it's like Bonanza that's kind of rising in popularity but they're always going to be kind of like the C or D listers and so you have the option you can choose to put your stuff on all these platforms and have to try to keep track of it all or you can just pick one that works for you my advice would be to pick one that works for you personally I put my stuff on eBay and then I also put it on Facebook Marketplace because I don't want to pay fees. So if it sells there first, I'll even put it for a little less to try to sell it for what I would make on eBay after fees and shipping. So if I put something for 100 bucks on eBay, 70 bucks on Marketplace. Because if I can take the cash now and get it out of here, boom, done. Don't have to deal with the post office losing it. Stupid, angry buyers who are always saying, why isn't my item here yet? You know, like hand right away give it to someone get the cash it's done it's over with move on is always the best option now of course if you have a lot of things have a garage sale yes you might not get the best prices but the stuff will be gone and out of your hair it'll take you a few days so you know is it worth it if you're just trying to get rid of stuff and you want some cash yes have a garage sale and just know that hey these prices it, 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 they are going to be insulting, but you're just trying to get rid of it and take the cash. Now, of course, if you don't need the money and you want to get rid of your stuff, donate it. 
get get it out of here to a charity let them deal with it take it to your local thrift store yes they make money hand over fist their prices in their stores are too high if they would discount everything at half off they would sell way more they would make way more money they would cycle through the volume you go to these places warehouses and they got piles and piles and heaps and heaps of stuff that they just they're throwing away so you know taking it there yeah some of your stuff's gonna end up in the dumpster but remember this, you don't want it anymore it's going away so sell it get rid of it whatever you got to do but the best places to sell it I would say are eBay and Facebook marketplace get on those start selling your stuff if you need tips remember check out those videos I mentioned in the cards above or also just check out the Internet Hustler YouTube channel for some more ideas and opportunities and other videos as well. If you have any comments or questions, please put them below. I do want to hear from you. Also, if you like this video, I'd appreciate if you hit that like button. That would be cool. And then subscribe to the channel as well. Uh, also comment below saying that you liked and you subscribed. That's really cool for me to see when people comment on my videos saying, hey, I subscribed to your channel or hey, I liked your video. Uh, that's really awesome for me to see. So again, any questions, I'm always here. Comment below. Until next time.